Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. The following inequality is always true, for any positive real numbers x and y. So, what is the maximum value of the parameter a? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Because both x and y are bigger than 0, every term in this inequality is bigger than 0. Therefore when we divide both sides of the inequality by something bigger than 0, the inequality remains true. We calculate the numerator and denominator separately. And get the result as, the square of x plus y over 5 times x plus twice y times y. This inequality is true for any x and y bigger than 0. What does it mean? It means that, even if the expression on the right reaches its minimum value, it is still not smaller than a. That is to say, the maximum value of a is the minimum value of this expression on the right. Now let's calculate this minimum value. This is a fraction, if we keep the numerator unchanged, the larger the denominator, the smaller the final result. How big can the denominator be? We can get it from the relationship between the arithmetic mean and the geometric mean. Namely its maximum value is the square of half of 5 times x plus twice y plus y. If we bring this result into the original expression, we can't get any result, because it only makes sense if the result of this expression is a constant. So let's take a look at the numerator. The coefficients of x and y are both 1, that is, only when the coefficients of x and y and the denominator are equal, the constant can be obtained by reducing the fraction. Now we have 5 times x and twice y. So we need another 3 times y if we wanted to make their coefficients the same. Of course, on the left side of the inequality we also need 3 times y instead of a single y. But after all, we only need 5 times x plus twice y times y, rather than 3 times y. So we have to divide it by 3. And of course, the right side of the inequality also has to be divided by 3. Next, we have to check whether they can really be equal in some cases. The answer is yes. When 5 times x plus twice y equals 3 times y, they are equal. That is, y is equal to 5 times x, which meets all our requirements for x and y, while the requirements is in fact simply both x and y are positive real numbers. No problem. Now we bring this resulting inequality back into the expression we want to ask for the minimum value. And get its minimum value equal to 12 over 25. That is, the maximum value of a is equal to 12 over 25. And when y is equal to 5 times x, the equality relation is obtained. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.